Have you ever wondered which skills are so powerful they can carry your entire team? Ever wonder which skills are broken and which skills are amazing? And have you ever wondered which skills you can use to show off and become a god in the game? Don't worry, I'm here with 25 broken skills in the game that will help you decimate the whole team. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to look at all the most powerful and broken skills in the game that you can use to smash your enemies. Let me first tell you what I mean by broken. When I say broken, I mean skills that are so good, they change the game and help you create those plays you see all over the internet. And if you want to rush your rank, then here are my top 15 heroes you can watch this video out. With that done, let's start this video off with one of the best skills in the game, Karina's first skill. This skill is essential and helps you get so much done. I know that people say that her ultimate is a game changer, and yes, it is. But her first skill gives you basic attack immunity and reflection, which renders so many heroes useless if you know how to pick your target. It doesn't matter if you're a flying cat lady or a guy with a monkey that shoots laser. She will just dance her way through it and somehow reflects them back. And to spice things up even more, let's aid Winter Truncheon to her, making her immune to everything while she is still reflecting everything. I can already see so many marksmen crying. This reminds me of another skill that is just amazing for being immune to almost everything. Yes, it's Lan's second skill. This skill is just so good if you know how to time it right. We all know how crucial this skill is in Lan's kit. Lan is also known for his first skill, but a true pro player knows how useful his second skill is too. His first skill, by the way, is a good skill. Dashes not only look good, but give some good outplay potential. Just like Lance's first skill, we have Arlo's second skill. This is also a dash that you can spam if there is a CC being applied to the enemy. Arlo himself has a great kit, allowing him to chain his skills in such a way that he can dash around for a long time. The best part of the second skill is that it not only does damage, but also gives you a decent amount of lifesteal. If you can chain them properly, it's really useful skill. Another very useful skill in a hero's kit is Halkut's ultimate. I almost want to include all his skills. But I think his ultimate just by itself deserves a spotlight because taking away enemies' vision feels just so illegal. Especially in higher ranks, where people understand the importance of vision. It makes everyone scared. I'm pretty sure that's something Hanzo means related to making everyone, I mean everyone scared with his first skill. This skill not only gives him the fastest jungle in the game, it also allows him to steal <laughs> others buff and annoy them. With his revamp upcoming, I'm sure he will be in the ban list. Confused? Check this video out to know about his revamp. Another skill that is super deadly when used to change skills is Fredrin's ultimate. His ultimate has two parts. One, we have his taunt skill, which not only reduces the ultimate cooldown, but also reduces the cooldown of other skills. And two, we have the bonk ultimate, which converts all the damage you received into the damage you deal. Now, if that's not broken, I don't know what is. Since his taunt is considered an ultimate, temporal rain works, which will reduce your skill's cooldown significantly. If converting damage received into damage sounds OP, how about death immunity? That's what makes Argus amazing. Did you know he has the fourth highest win rate in the mythic rank right now? Damn! Well, Argus's lead game is a true monster and an extremely fast turret pusher. In the early game, he is weak, but in the late game, he is amazing. To hit that late game peak, you must know when, how, and where to use his ultimate. If you know it, there is no way you are losing any games. Speaking about the late game, Ixia's ultimate is just ultra broken. All you have to do is time it right, 
Land it once in the late game where multiple enemies are caught and the game will just end. Nice. She just has too much damage and heavy CC which groups all the enemies together and decimates them in safety. We have been speaking about so many ultimate skills. Let's shift the focus and talk about other skills for a moment. It is time to talk about Lolita's second skill. It's truly a broken skill, especially after the revamp. The amount of value it can get whenever used at the right moment is insane. It straight up reflects all projectiles. How OP is that? Just like whatever Natalia does with all our cute marksmen with her second skill. Her second skill basic attack immunity is busted if you know how to place it and use it properly. And she gets the job done. Another game changing skill is Mathilda's second skill. Her second skill guiding wind is a powerful ability that provides both mobility and protection to herself and her allies. It is helpful to dive in or get out of any critical situations along with your teammates. And this can go along with her ultimate too. So yeah, this is broken to be honest. Just like how OP it is to teleport your whole team, let's dive into Luo Yi's ultimate. This skill provides one of the best repositioning and surprise mechanism in the game. When you want to heat things up, the ultimate allows you to reposition your entire team, engaging from a surprising angle and catching your enemies off guard, completely changing the game. Fanny is finally back in the meta thanks to Skypiercer. So I think her second skill deserves a mention here. The skill players can zip around the map with ease, making it incredibly hard for enemies to pin her down. It's a skill that requires a lot of practice, but once mastered, it can be devastating. And it's just too iconic to ignore. Just like Valentina's ultimate, which is also a game changer, this skill allows her to copy an enemy's ultimate ability, making her a versatile threat on the battlefield. Imagine using Tigreal's ultimate against his own team or bursting out into Expo. The possibilities are endless and terrifying for the opponent. Chip's ultimate also deserves a spot on this list. Just like Luo Yi, this is also an excellent ultimate to group your whole team together. The only difference is the amount of time it takes for your allies to come. Whenever Chip uses his ultimate, it doesn't take more than 2 to 5 seconds for your whole team to assemble, which is just amazing and will leave the enemy shocked and speechless most of the time. Iconic and impossible to ignore, what's another skill that does the same thing? Well, it is our Hanabe with her immunity on first skill. So what if Hanabe doesn't have mobility, her first skill can have the work done. Not only does it give her immunity, but it also gives a decent amount of shield to last long in a prolonged fight. Speaking of immunity, how can I forget Diggy with his ultimate? If there's a Tigreal or Atlas on the enemy, then this little bird can become a nightmare for them. Not only does it give the CC immunity with its ultimate, but also provides shield if paired up with Flask of the Oasis which actually can be very useful to turn any team fights. Hey, changing team fights. I'm pretty sure that's what Florin does whenever she uses her ultimate. It heals all allies, no matter where they are on the map, making it a crucial skill for sustaining your team during prolonged engagements. And it has anti-anti healing, which is just so broken. Breaking things, I'm sure Yin is familiar with that, or at least Lei is. So let's talk about Yin's ultimate. The skill is perfect for taking out key targets and disrupting the enemy team's strategy. It's a high risk, high reward skill that can pay off big time when used correctly. Since we are talking about Yin, let's also talk about Melissa, his team member. Melissa's second skill provides a significant damage boost and range. It's a skill that allows her to dish out massive damage on multiple targets, especially if there is a gang going on. 
Just like Faramis ultimate, another skill that can turn the tide of the battle, it gives out death immunity around a specific radius, giving your team a second chance to fight. It's a skill that can save games and secure clutch victories. Similar to our Joni's ultimate, Johnson's ultimate transforms him into a vehicle that can carry an ally and crash into enemies and stunning them. This skill provides incredible mobility and initiation potential, allowing your team to engage in fights on your terms. Although it's not a car, Nana's second skill is basically car because sometimes it's just as annoying and deadly to go up against. It turns you into Molina, making you useless for a short amount of time. It's super annoying to go up against. Just like how it's annoying to go up against a good link player who can use his ultimate. Because his ultimate provides incredible mobility and burst damage and invulnerability. It also helps him get immune from other skill and charge back once the threat is gone. And lastly, let's end with Carmilla's ultimate. Because her ultimate can end teams when you combo it properly. This skill can disrupt the enemy's team's formation and help your whole team deal massive damage and crowd control. This is such a game changer skill. So guys, what do you think? Which other skills do you think are missing? Which is your favorite skill? Comment down all your thoughts below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.